First tonight, a Providence man is behind bars, accused of organizing a murder for hire plot. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. As we first reported on 12 News at 5, FBI agents arrested 51 year old Augustine Venus on Friday. 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt spoke with one of the people police say Venus wanted killed. Rob joins us live in studio with more on that and how officers were able to make an arrest. Rob? Shannon, I've read through this detailed court affidavit. It says this all started when Venus mentioned his plan to an acquaintance. That acquaintance contacted police. So when Venus thought he was meeting up with a hitman, it was actually an undercover officer. According to court documents, it was in this parking lot that Augustine Venus told an acquaintance he wanted to hire a man to kill a contractor as well as one of his employees, claiming the contractor owed him $8,500 for a construction job. The FBI Rhode Island Safe Streets Task Force was able to record a conversation between Venus and the acquaintance on April 20th. The acting U.S. Attorney for Rhode Island says in that conversation, Venus offered to pay $3,000 for the killings and an additional $500 to make the bodies, quote, disappear. Venus explained that he would like to have the victims tortured before they are killed. 12 News law enforcement analyst Colonel Stephen O'Donnell says that that price point says a lot. Some people that do, do this murder for hire, it's more calculating, um, calmer, more methodical. You could tell this was um, someone that was just so angry. According to court documents, Venus eventually met with a person he thought was a hitman, but who was actually an undercover police officer. Venus allegedly agreed to provide a deposit for the killings, saying, quote, I'm not dying until this guy is dead. Colonel O'Donnell says the elaborate setup by police was crucial. They have to take an overt step um, because a lot of people may vent and say things. I want to do certain things. I want to cause harm to somebody. But to make it a crime, they have to take an overt step. The overt step would be pay. According to court documents, Venus met with the undercover officer a second time on April 26th and then again three days later. Venus allegedly paid the officer $300 in cash and showed him two checks worth a total of $2,700. Attorney Myra saying Venus was asked on several occasions at that meeting if he was certain he wanted the murders committed. He responded, quote, I am 100% sure. There's multiple pieces of evidence to be able to prove this individual, um, you know, meant exactly what he was um, paying to do. I spoke to the owner of a construction company over the phone who identified himself as one of the alleged victims. He declined to comment on the case out of fear for his life and his family's. Reporting live in studio, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.